Do you see what's wrong? Yeah, there's a broken light bulb. Let me just change it. Let there be light. What was that? What the f***? Hey everybody! If you were here last week, we were unboxing Micro Machines from Jazzwares, Super 20 Collection to be exact. This week we are going to continue with Jazzwares and Micro Machines, but we are going to start with the Series 2. If you would like to see if there are any new models or any repeats in these new packs, then stay, because today in JR Collectibles we have Micro Machines unboxing. first motorcycle released in the Jazzwares era, and it's also the first edition of this model and the trailer. It is a non-licensed model, but seems to be inspired by a touring motorcycle. The scale is smaller than the older superbikes from the 80s and 90s, here side by side with the Kawasaki K1000 that we unboxed last year. This is the second hot nose of my collection. We unboxed the green one last week in the Super 20 collection. And of course, you can connect the trailer to the hot nose. By the way, you cannot fit other bikes in the trailer. There's this little piece in the middle and also it's made for smaller bikes. This is a completely new model. And like the race cycle, it's a non-licensed vehicle, but it shows a clear influence from the modified trucks that participates in events like the Rally Dakar. The front looks like a Ford F350 series, but it is also a non-licensed vehicle. Ok, let's save some time. All the models on the Series 2 are non-licensed. There are clear inspirations from some of them that you will be able to recognize, but all of them are original designs from Micro Machines. Now, with that said, let's go back to the video. The utility truck has also this functional extending arm. The Warlander is not one of my favorites in general, but I have to say that with this two-tone livery in blue and purple it looks really nice. I have another one in yellow that I got from the Supervan City, but the same yellow model was included also in the Super 20 collection that we unboxed last week. The Boss is a new model and the biggest casting that Jazzware has released so far. The 
this SUV was released for the first time in black in the Series 1 blind bags. And it seems to be based in the common vehicle that was included in several releases of the Series 1. The only difference that I can see is the light bar in the front of the police SUV. Here you can see the difference in size when you compare this model with older Micro Machines SUVs. Another completely new model in the protagonist of Orincho. The Asumi seems to take inspiration from the JDM tuner culture from Japan. The third police cruiser in my collection, also in blue like the one I got in the Supervan City, but with a different design. I have to say I'm really liking these little officers. This whole set is full of repeats, just with different colors or livery designs. The first one, the Lusitano, is my second one. The other one I have was released in red in the Series 1 World Packs and repeated in the Super 20 collection as well. My second center as well. The first one was also included in the Series 1 World Pack. For me, the design on this one is inspired by the Bugatti Veyron. This is my second Quetzal. The first one was included in the same pack than the other two. This was our first Series 2 video from Micro Machines and Jazzwares. It's clear to me that the quality and details from the old micros is still not there for Jazzwares. But personally I'm still hyped that they are still releasing these little guys and I get excited with every series to see which new models they are going to add. Now, my opinion in these four packs. The first three, all of them have new models, so I will say definitely go for them. From the models my favorite ones are three. The Asumi. Uh, this one, I really like the design and the combination of the color in uh, red and black. Then we have the adventure truck. The adventure truck, I'm not fan of this livery exactly, but I think that it has a lot of potential for future releases in the future. What? But also for customizers. Imagine that we could see a bunch of liveries from the Rally Dakar and this little guy in the future. Here we go again. That would be great, right? And. The third one is the utility truck. I really like when they put these mobile pieces in these little guys because it gives a little bit more of realism to your micro city. What is my least favorite or the one that disappointed me the most? The most? It was the boss. It just seemed like a box with wheels. It's, a, it's like a really cheap design and I know that there's not too much to do with the boss but I'm sure that you can do better than this. Now, if you realize, I talk about three packs and not four. And that is because the fourth one is just full of repeats. And I bought it because I thought that maybe the design of these three models would be better than the previous ones, but I was a bit disappointed. Maybe some of you will disagree and you will say that the designs are better and that's absolutely fine. They are just not for me. So, in my personal opinion, if you already have the Supercars World Pack from the Series 1, I will not recommend you to buy this one, just stay clear of it. But now tell me what do you think about the Series 2? Is it an improvement versus the Series 1? Do you already have it in your collection? I would like to hear all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And before you go, we are reaching the 200 subscribers, which I know is a really small number, but you have to start somewhere, right? So if you enjoyed the video, please share it with a friend, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I think that's it for me today. Thanks for being here and see you next time. Adios.